your host for today's uh, session here in uh, Rugby League Live 4. Um, a few things that you guys have missed since the last stream. Uh, a lot of it has been over on Twitch. Uh, but uh, this is over here on YouTube. So congratulations, guys, if you're joining me on YouTube. You guys are going to get a great, great stream this evening. Um, anyways, a couple of things that have happened. Yes, the Cowboys did, in fact, win the, uh, the minor premiership. Then they ended up, well, let me show you. They ended up winning the, uh, the grand final. Uh, we defeated the Broncos 36 to nothing. Uh, but right now, if you really want to know what's going on, let me show you. Hold on. The World Cup is going on, guys, and um, the Kangaroos won three straight games in the opening round, and then uh, we just we just took out Scotland, 96 to nothing. Uh, the Scottish are, are 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 crying somewhere at a, in a pub in Edinburgh right now because uh, that, that that that's just embarrassing. Uh, anyways, you got the Kiwis and the three Lions over there on that side of the uh, aisle. Papua New Guinea, uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, Ireland, and Samoa and Tonga on the other side of the bracket will either place will either face England or uh, New Zealand in the semi-final of the World Cup, and we get New Zealand. Uh, of course, we did. So, if everything, yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be uh, Australia versus New Zealand, and. Papua New Guinea and Samoa. So, one of those four teams will win the World Cup. Uh, that's kind of kind of exciting. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on this game. Australia, New Zealand. I hope everybody's having a very, very relaxing weekend. Uh, I, I know I am personally. And um, I just hope everybody's having lots of fun and uh, enjoying this. So, here we go. Let's go. Welcome to Eden Park. Usually it's the All Blacks and the Wallabies at Eden Park, but today it's the Kangaroos and the Kiwis. And if it was the All Blacks and the Wallabies, you wouldn't be seeing me play as the Kangaroos. You'd be seeing me play as the All Blacks. And there he is, the man of the hour, the guy who's leading out the team. Jonathan Thurston has had an amazing run in the World Cup so far. He's had, uh, what, six tries, I think, in the last match. Eight tries in round three. Uh, five tries, I think, in round two. I don't remember what he got in the first round. But uh, he's had a great run so far. And it could all be... Uh, it, it could all be great for Jonathan Thurston here this evening because his team could make the World Cup final. In real life, the Kangaroos have won 11 World Cups, including this one. This, was, this would have been the 2017 World Cup that I'm playing here if we're basing it on uh, game years. Jonathan Thurston gets the catch. He's away. Jonathan Thurston's away. Jonathan Thurston is going to get his first try of the afternoon. I'm not liking that pink on that referee there, but that's, that's, that's okay. The green and gold have scored their first try. And the black of the Kiwis. Man, I love that Kiwis jersey. It's pretty. Cameron Smith now with the conversion. And there we go. Australia 6, New Zealand nothing. Early on in this 
semi-final of the Rugby League World Cup. And for all my American friends, yes, Rugby League and oh crap. And that's what happens when you're talking and not paying attention. The Kiwis get an interception. And the Kiwis are not going to be over. The Kiwis are over. No, the Kiwis are not over. We've got four. we got four tackles to settle them off. We can do this. Nope. It's a tie. That's what happens when you're pay not paying attention and you're trying to explain the differences between Rugby League and Rugby Union. <laughs> this is Rugby League, not Rugby Union. And uh, the Kiwis. are about to tie this game up, the semi-final of the Rugby League World Cup. As Australia and New Zealand play for the right to face either Papua New Guinea or Samoa in the Rugby League World Cup final. Probably at ANZ. Jonathan Thurston with the tackle there. Jonathan Thurston pushing back the uh, Kiwi player, I think that's Forlin, Foreign, maybe. Ah, dang it. Roberts with the tackle. Paul Gallon with the tackle now. Tuavasa Sheck with the run. And the Australians are holding on. Dearly trying to make sure that this doesn't go into Golden Point. This could be a very long game if this is not going to be your 96 to nothing game that we had against the Scottish. This is going to be a hard fought battle. Paul Gallen with the take. Pushing hard, he's pushing hard. He's gonna get past. But uh oh well that was a forward pass. Wow, that's a forward pass. And unfortunately, New Zealand now gets to have their second set of possession. It's six six. Twenty minutes in. This game is definitely not your mother's. Test match because this is this is embarrassing. That's your father's test match either. <laughs> the Kiwis are taking it hard. The Kiwis beat the uh, Kangaroos earlier in the season in the Anzac Day Test. So uh, it is possible that the Kangaroos could lose to the Kiwis in this semifinals matchup. But the punt is away. Morris gets it. Morris now running. Morris to the side. Nope. Morris is away. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's going to get it back to the 20 meter line. And Cameron Smith is going to get to play dummy half now. Polly. Polly is going to be away. That was almost a run for the ages. The man that has been on fire for the Kangaroos. In this World Cup, Jonathan Thurston. But Paul Gallon is away, and with 10 minutes to go in the first half, the Kangaroos are going to take a lead. The Kangaroos take a 12-6 lead. This is not going to be... This is not going to be stressful in the second half. Because one false move, and they could, in fact, be right back in this. We probably... Oh, really? Uh, Fifi Ta gets tackled there. Eight minutes to go.
Australia. Oh, Paul Gallon's away again. Paul Gallon is away. And there you go. That's going to make it a little easier for us in the second half. It's going to be 18 to 6. At least going into the second half. We have six minutes to score. Another one. And the Kiwis are down by two tries early on in this semi-final. Tedesco is going to play for... That's funny that's James Tedes that James Tedesco is playing for us. He played for Italy in the 17 World Cup. So it's kind of funny. But uh, anyways, let's do this. Cameron Smith's away, and New Zealand is not having is not having a very good final ten minutes. As the Australians score three tries in the final ten to put us up twenty four to six with a minute to go in the first half. And that's the end of the first half with the Kangaroos 24, New Zealand 6. Not an easy test match when these two get together. Not anymore. New Zealand's winning, I believe it was the 2008 World Cup. Australia winning the past two. But, um... 2021 World Cup still scheduled for next year. Hopefully we get a World Cup next year. We're not going to get a Cricket World Cup, I don't think, this year. So that kind of sucks. Um, but, uh, anyways. And a nice punt there by the Kiwis. And we run out of bounce. And, oh my gosh, that that's... That sucks right there from Tedesco. Tedesco taking it, and he's just like, ah, screw you. I'm going to run it out. I didn't get to be on the Aussie, Aussie team in the real 2017 World Cup. He played for Italy. And he's uh, trying to sabotage us now. That really makes me mad. Uh, there we go. Maloney gets the tackle there on Taylor. Polly on the tackle, and Jonathan Thurston comes in for the tackle on Bromwich. Roberts gets the tackle on Glenn. Alex Glenn has a thigh strain, so he'll be out. If there's, a, I think there's a third place match. If not, then uh, he'll, he's out for the rest of the tournament anyway, even if they lose. So now, 13 meters gained, five, the fifth tackle, one tackle to go. Can they, they bomb it? They're bombing it, and... A catch by Morris, and Morris is going to get tackled right there. Chambers now playing dummy half. Going to pass it outside to Gallon. Gallon is going to go one, two. No, can't get past the third. Can't get past the second man. Cameron Smith back at dummy half now. Over to Jonathan Thurston. Jonathan Thurston, the captain. And Jonathan Thurston's away with 25 minutes to go. The Australians are cruising into the World Cup final. The salute from Jonathan Thurston. The try is given. And the celebration can commence for the Kangaroos. The Kangaroos are going to be into the World Cup final. They'll play either Papua New Guinea or Samoa. And it should be too much of a lead now for the Kiwis to come back in this game with 20 minutes to go. Australia has 30 and New Zealand has six. Good one to kick it off. 24 minutes to go in what has been an interesting, very interesting semi-final. Cameron Smith now with the take. 
And Cameron Smith gets tackled. James Desco now playing dummy half. Out to Jonathan Thurston, the man of the hour. Jonathan Thurston, probably in his last World Cup. He's 34 years old. And Jonathan Thurston's away. Jonathan Thurston's going to score a hat trick. Jonathan Thurston with the hat trick. His 149th career try. One away from 150. That will probably have to wait at least a few more minutes. Could wait till the World Cup final. I believe that is an ANZ stadium. We welcome, if you're just joining us, thank you for coming in and joining and watching. Cameron Smith back to receive. But it'll be Jonathan Thurston who almost bobbles it. He almost knocks it on. Oh my gosh, what a what a catch from Jonathan Thurston. I thought he was going to knock it on there for a second. This is going to be great. The Kangaroos are going to win this game. 18 minutes to go. It's impossible now for the Kiwis to return in this game. So here we go, guys, as Polly gets it. Polly gets one. Polly gets two, but no, he can't get past the third. He would have been away there for an easy try. The fourth tackle now. Going to go for a 40-20. And I don't know what the heck Jonathan Thurston was going for there. As it goes all the way back to the goal line. And Tavasa Sheck. Tavasa Sheck almost gave us back the ball. But uh, this is good. This is good. Australia, New Zealand. Australia, New Zealand. Back and forth we go in this one. Australia about to go into the World Cup final for the 14th time. And it was he was held in the tackle. That's the penalty I didn't want to take. With 10 minutes to go in this game, though, I think we can afford a couple of cock-ups. Nine minutes to go. We do not want... We just don't want this game to end on a sour note. We don't we don't want to give him another try going into the World Cup final. We just got to stand tall. Everyone at Eden Park is sad because it's usually the All Blacks beating the Wallabies. But tonight it's the Kangaroos who are beating the Kiwis. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Five minutes to go, four minutes to go now, four minutes in, four minutes to go, four minutes to go. Can we hold off? Can we hold off the Kiwis for three minutes now? This is almost, this is the most exciting that you'll see today. And Proctor with the final tackle there, Papali defending strongly for the Kangaroos. Look, Foran, Foran's going to bomb it, but it's going to go right into the hands. It's going to go right into the hands of the captain himself. Pally, Pally's away on the last play of the game. It's going to be a try for the. It's going to be a try for the Kangaroos. And with that, the Kangaroos are in to the World Cup final. Australians all at us rejoice we're going to win the game and the sad New Zealanders hey don't worry about it guys cuz uh, the All Blacks will <laughs> definitely make it better and that's it we are now into the World Cup final we're into the World Cup final, and this is going to be interesting now. Oh, the World Cup final. And survey says... 
the game hasn't been played yet, so, uh, yeah. Don't know, don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see what happens. It will be Samoa. It will be Samoa in the World Cup final. That's, that's very interesting. It's going to be a tough one. Samoa, Australia. Who's going to come out on top? 80 minutes to decide the Rugby World Cup winner. And we are ready to go. Eden Park's going to host the final. I thought it was at ANZ Stadium. It's at Eden Park in Auckland. A place that I dream about. A place that I love so much. It's a place that I, I hold dear in my heart uh, for a lot of reasons. And now a chance to win a Rugby League World Cup at Eden Park. The Kangaroos taking on and the booze for the Samoa takes the pitch only to be met by the cheers from the Australians for the Australians as Jonathan Thurston playing in probably his final World Cup leads the team on as team captain Beard game is on point. All Advance Australia fair played. And the crowd doesn't have time to play the Samoan National Anthem. So uh, there will be no Samoan National Anthem before the World Cup Final. But Cameron Smith for the kick. And the Rugby League World Cup final is underway. Roberts with the tackle, helped by Jonathan Thurston. And Milford. And Clark out there now. Fifi Ta takes the tackle, the second tackle of this game. The Rugby League World Cup final is underway. McGuire with the take. And Gallon now with the tackle. So, so far, so good for the Aussies. Papa Nogini with the run there. It's picked up, and Gillett's going to score the opening try in the Rugby League World Cup. A mistake there by the Samoans led to the Rugby League World Cup final, starting off with Matt Gillett. giving us the early lead. Cameron Smith now with the conversion and it's 6-0 to Australia. And now Maloney with the take and the run forward. Cameron Smith out wide to the man of the hour, Jonathan Thurston. Jonathan Thurston with a shimmy there. The second... No, he can't get past the second. Forty twenty did not go the way I planned. <laughs> Unfortunately. And CO gets the ball back. We're up 6-0, so we're good so far. Do not want to have a game like we just had against the Kiwis and it was offside there so they're going to get a full set of six again not only that but they're going to get to kick into touch because we were offside it's a penalty and 
Lino gets it in to touch. Oh, about the halfway mark. Cameron Smith with a tackle. He's pushing him back. They're going to lose a few meters there. They're going to lose a few. That's a nice little run. And he was offside again. How? How in the world was he offside? They ran with it. They ran with the ball. That means that they were on... We, I think this referee is trying to make sure that the Australians don't win a rugby world league. Uh, I mean, a rugby league World Cup. Rugby world, world league. Listen to me. A rugby world. Uh, a rugby league World Cup, guys. Come on, let's let's do this right. Get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Let's do this. <laughs> Cassiano. Cassiano to the outside. There, but does not get it. Cameron Smith again with a tackle. Halfway through this first half, and it's going the same way as the Kiwi game, which means if that's the case, then we should have, oh, high tackle, a high tackle there, and that's going to cost us. We had it. We had it. They were, we were not going to let them score. They were going to have to give us the ball. Now they got a full set of six again. Not only that, but uh, whoever that was is going to be suspended at least for a few games. As long as he's not one of my Cowboys, we're good. And this is definitely not your daddy's World Cup final. This is, this is, this is really good right now. Australian Samoa is pushing hard to win this game. One of these two sides will come out on top. So far, we're so far we're winning, but it could go. It could be no. We're gonna get the ball back. We are gonna get the ball back. Will Chambers getting us the ball over to Maloney. Maloney's gonna take the run, but uh, he's not gonna get very far. Jonathan Thurston. Jonathan Thurston can't get past the first tackle and. Cameron Smith now going to throw out wide to Maloney. Maloney's going to take it. Maloney's going to go one, but he can't go past the fullback. Can't get past halfway. The punt... And now CO takes it back for us, but Tedesco gets the tackle. Pally, Pally gets the tackle there. Four minutes to go to halftime. We don't want to give up a try and go into this halftime tied of the Rugby League World Cup Final. Fifth tackle now. You gotta give us the ball back. We just gotta we got we've got to get the ball back. No cock ups here. Forty seconds. And Gallon almost away, but he can't get the try, so we will go into halftime with a 6-0 lead. And all we can do is pray and hope that we wore down Samoa enough that in the second half we get ourselves a bit of a lead. Otherwise, this is going to be a very stressful 40 minutes. Theo with the kickoff to Jonathan Thurston and Thurston's away but he's met at the 20 meter line. Pauly now, Pauly, no, Pauly can't do it. We are playing very poorly in this game. We've had great runs in the quarterfinals and the semis. 
But uh, this final has not been the best. But that's away. Matt Gillett's away. Matt Gillett's going to score a second try of the game. Matt Gillett's going to score it. Matt Gillett is going to make it 12 to nothing because it's going to be a conversion in just a second. And Matt Gillett gives the Australians the cushion that they needed in the second half. First possession of the second half. And the Australians are now up 10 with the conversion to come. Cameron Smith now. Cameron Smith with the kick. And it's now 12 nothing after that try. And now Samoa... Samoa is now... <laughs> Samoa has got to get a try or this game is over with 40 minutes to go. It could happen. They could get two tries in 40 minutes. Lots of things could happen. But, like I said, going into half time, I thought that if we could wear down Samoa just enough that we could get a try and open this game up and on the first possession of the second half, we did. Now we've got the possession again. We're at halfway. That's the 50. And... Jonathan Thurston, though, can't get past. We're going to have to give it away. And it's a knock-on, so Samoa's going to get an extra tackle. Samoa will, in fact, get an extra tackle here. Thurston with the tackle. Fifita with the tackle down. Thurston with another tackle. And our defense is going to win this, this game if, if we are to win this game. With 20 minutes to go. Everyone in Australia is going to start to think that this might be a win for the Aussies. And Mansur is away. Mansur is away. And this will be the try that wins us the World Cup. Josh Mansur with the try. And the celebrations are going crazy. I'm sure Sydney is drinking into the night. There will be parties all around and somewhere. Steve Irwin is smiling. Samoa. And if we could just do We did. We've scored two tries in the second half compared to one in the first. It was 6 nothing at half time. Now it's 18-0. And Jonathan Thurston tries to get away. He breaks one tackle, but he can't break a second. With 16 minutes to go in the World Cup final. Gillett has been the man of the hour. He scored two. Will he score a hat trick in the World Cup final? Not many can say that they have. Jonathan Thurston can't get past. We're now on our fourth tackle. <laughs> uh, the next tackle will be our last. We've got to be careful. Fifita is going to run straight at the defense. He can't get past that. Uh, and now the question is, do we go for it? And the answer is yes, but we miss. We missed the goalpost. It doinks off the goalpost. We tried to get that to at least secure the game. Ten minutes to go. Three tries there for Samoa. Puffy Tala Mariner. Milford. Cassiano. Samoa's not going to go down without a fight. They're going to, I mean, hey, make a World Cup final. That's impressive. Puffy Tala Mariner. 
with the run there. Clark, Iona. Fifth tackle, six minutes to go. To Clark. Morris has got it. Now the run back to halfway. On the halfway mark, four minutes to go in the World Cup final. Thurston, he's going to be the man that lifts the trophy at the end of this game. If we can hold out for three more minutes. And Maloney can't get it. Smith. Minute and a half. Smith's going to run it himself. Smith's going to run it himself. This is going to probably be the final play of the game. It will be indeed as Cameron Smith's going to finish this game in the World Cup final off with a try. And the Australians are celebrating now. And it's his 50th career try and his first of this game. But you got to believe now as Australia celebrates into the night, they've won a rugby World Cup. It's not the Rugby Union World Cup, it's the Rugby League World Cup. And for the 11th time in their history, the Australians are Rugby League World Cup champions. The party can go into the night. Sydney celebrates. Brisbane celebrates. The people in Townsville celebrate. Gold Coast celebrates. Darwin, even the backwards people of Darwin are celebrating. <laughs> Just kidding. Guys, I, 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 I feel I, I like Darwin. Darwin's a good city. Thurston patting him on the back there. Thurston celebrating, knowing that this is going to be his last World Cup. And the Rugby League World Cup trophy. Wow. Absolutely wow. That was a tough one. It was not going to be easy. But the Rugby League World Cup is... Oh, it's like, why do they even play it? Australia's going to win every year. So, anyways. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So, Polly Polly goes from Trinity to Tigers. Zach Hardiker goes from Tigers to Panthers. Mark Iona goes from Broncos to Bulls. Danny McGuire retires. Sam Tompkins goes from the Warriors to the Knights. Gareth Hawk goes from the Centurions to retiring. Albert Kelly goes from Hall FC to Warriors. Kurt Mann goes from the Dragons to the Broncos. Leon Price goes from the Bulls to the Nobody. Nelson Asofa Solomono. Uh, uh, goes from the Storm to the Knights. Todd Carney goes from the Red Devils to the Eels. Luke Lewis to the Sharks to nobody. Maurice Blair, Rovers to nobody. Theo Fagus goes from the St. Helens to the Tigers. Depending on which Tigers that is, that can be very interesting. George Jennings goes from the Magpies to the Cutters. Jaden Nikarima goes from the Wyong Roos to the Pride. John Sutton goes from the Rabbitists to the Warriors. Ben Westwood goes from the Wo Wolves to nobody. Frank Winterstein goes from Manly to New Zealand. Danny Brow goes from the Giants to nobody. Adam Cutsperson goes from Leeds to, I guess that's Penrith. Uh, Ryan Hall uh, goes from the Rhinos to the Eels. James Roby from the St. Helens uh, Saint, uh, it's the St. Helens Saints, I'm almost positive, to Bulldogs. Uh, so that will be interesting next year. Chase Chanley goes from Canterbury to Gold Coast. Kyle Flanagan goes from Cronulla to the Melbourne Storm. Thomas Lawai goes from New Zealand to Sydney. Uh, that's a big change and that's a big step up. Uh, Michael Litcha goes from the Bulldogs to the Sharks. Jack Littlejohn goes from Salford to New Zealand. Nathan Peets goes from Gold Coast to St. George. Congratulations, he just went into the worst team in the history of rugby league. But uh, good job. Congratulations. Uh, Jordan Rankin goes from Huddersfield to Sydney. Tyrone goes from Warrington to Gold Coast. Uh, Carlos Tumavave goes from Hull to uh, Gold Coast. 
Uh, Aaron Clark goes from Canberra to St. George. Man, St. George is actually doing pretty darn good. So that's weird. That's really, really weird. Because in real life, they suck. Matt Eisenhuth goes from the Tigers to the Titans. Craig Kopsik goes from the Red Devils to Nobody. Joel Monaghan goes from the Tigers to Nobody. Luke Walsh leaves the Dragons and goes to the Giants. Thomas Bach Bosch goes from St. George to the Hawks. Alex Johnston from the Rabbitohs from South to Sharks. Uh, Carl Lawton goes from New Zealand to the Broncos, probably Brisbane, not London. Uh, Kevin Nyquama goes from the Tigers to the Panthers. Joe Wardle goes from the Tigers to Hull. Uh, Kirisam Avava, uh, yeah, uh, he goes from the Eels to the Dragons. Chris Bridge goes from Venice to Nobody. Uh, Matt Frawley goes from the Bulldogs to the Red Devils. David Gower, the Eels to the Vikings, the Broncos. Uh, get uh, jo uh, the Knights get Jordan Cow. Roy O'Brien O'Brien goes to the Broncos. Tyler Randall to the Bears. Albert Vette to the Knights. Stevie Ward to the Hawks. Paul Eiton leaves the Dragons. Mariah Charrington goes to the Rams. Sam Foster to the Dolphins. Guy Hamilton to the Cutters. David Hewitt to the Bulldogs. Will Matthews to the Warriors. That's weird. I've been saying. I, th I keep saying it. That's weird. Well, anyways, maybe there's another uh, St. George somewhere. I don't know. But anyways, guys, just looking at a few. I'll, I'll, I was going to read them all, but there's too many to name. Wow, what what a change. What a change in the seasons. Uh, the All-Gold's getting a few players, so that's interesting. We're just going to We're just going to continue. And, uh, yes, we're going to continue on with the Cowboys. So, anyways, let's see here. Win five matches in a row. No, 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 mate, mate. We're going we're gonna to make the finals. So, uh, anyways, yeah. So, can't sign anybody yet. Uh, let's gener let's just generate that. Uh, the Oakland Nines is ready. Let's do this. I look forward to the Oakland Nines every year. And the Cowboys and the Sharks going at it this evening in the Oakland Nines. So, again... Coming off winning the Rugby League World Cup. Now can we leave the Cowboys to Auckland Nines glory. Uh, and we'll see here on this stream. Thank you guys for being so supportive. Duggan, Townsend, Moylan, Fifita, Lachlan Coot leading on. Lachlan Coot's our team captain this year, so that's going to be interesting. He did great in last year's. He did great in last year's Auckland Nines. Lachlan Coot was a beast. Let's see how well he does in this year's Auckland Nines. 18 minutes starts now as Kyle Felt kicks it off, hits the post, doesn't go out. And here we go. Third tackle now, they've got one tackle left. And the question is, oh, Cronulla. Well, okay, this is not last year's. Uh, this is definitely not last year's Auckland Nines, but uh, they get halfway and... Anyways, excuse me there. Anyways, Lachlan Coote gets the ball. Lachlan Coote 
had an amazing run last year, the Auckland Nines. If you missed that, shame on you. Because that was f so much fun. Jonathan Thurston did not retire. Thought he was going to retire. But he does not retire. Michael Morgan is away. And Michael Morgan's going to open the scoring. That tackle there, that missed tackle was what cost everybody. Kyle Felt, though. Kyle Felt is going to be our goal scorer, I guess, from, from now on. believe that Kyle Felt score, uh, signed a contract with and a brand new contract with us uh, in real life. A high tackle there and just like last year, high tackles are going to cost us in the Auckland Nines. We ended up winning the Auckland Nines last year but of course um, high tackles cost us. Jonathan Thurston got a high tackle uh, in one of them and missed three games. So, yeah, it was not fun. <laughs> Moylan, the tackle. And it's just now, six minutes in, with three minutes to go in the half. Justin O'Neill there. Everybody says that Justin O'Neill doesn't need to be on the team anymore. I disagree, and this is why Justin O'Neill is away. Justin O'Neill scores our second try of the afternoon. North Queensland, 14. Cronulla, zero. With a minute to go in the first half. Dugan. Dugan gets tackled there. We played Cronulla. I believe it was in a in a it was a, it was a preliminary final last year that led us into the uh, NRL Grand Final. And there we go. So first half done of this opening game of the Auckland Nines. Moylan with the kickoff now. Michael Morgan back to receive somewhere. And Jonathan Thurston, who's playing number not as seven, but uh, this is Oakland nine, so I got to remember. But Thurston is away. Thurston's going to take the opening kickoff back, and now it's twenty-one nothing. This game is over. We're going to win. Ah, oh, kicked it too hard, kicked it too far. Matthew Scott there. Jake Granville. Last year's Dally M winner. Townsend with the tackle. I mean, Matthew Scott with the tackle. Scott, sorry. Townsend was going to carry the ball. Jake Granville with the tackle again. And with six minutes to go in this game, Cronulla needs a try and a try quickly. Or, hey, we're going to win this game. And so there we are away. No, I'm not kicking. I'm not kicking. 
I am not kicking this dang ball. You can forget it. Well, I guess I will. Because I don't really care. What happens now for the rest of the game? Because we're gonna win. We gotta shut this up. We gotta shut him. We gotta shut him out. I held him to tackle. That's a, that's a penalty. Shouldn't have been a penalty. North Queensland is on fire. And uh, halfway part, halfway mark of the uh, yeah. There we go. Four minutes to go. Cronulla knows they've lost. They'll have two more games today to get back. They may. They may very well still make the finals, but uh, Ethan Lowe with the tackle, helped by Jonathan Thurston. I'm surprised that Jonathan Thurston came back this year. I was uh, expecting him to retire, but uh, Justin O'Neill with the catch, and two minutes to go. There really isn't a point. Jake Granville playing out of dummy half. Kyle Felt, though, tries to get away. Kyle Felt cannot get away. And Ethan Lowe does his best impression of a shimmy, but can't get past any tacklers. Gavin Cooper now. Gavin Cooper with one, Gavin Cooper with two. And Gavin Cooper's away with 15 seconds on the clock. The final play of the game and Gavin Cooper scores a try. Kyle Felt now with his fourth goal of the game and that will be it for this opening match. Three, two, siren sounds and that's the game. As soon as this ball goes into touch and they've ran one tackle I believe this game is over. Just need to tackle. We just need to tackle and the game is over. And Jake Granville doesn't get the tackle. But there's Jake. There's Jakey boy. And Cronulla. They're saying, yeah. Screw you. Yeah, screw you. But you know what? We don't care. We win 28 to nothing. And the North Queensland Cowboys can start to celebrate, crack open the Victoria Bitters. We've won the opening game of the season. So Jake Granville gets a gets a Jake Granville's gonna get suspended here. And yeah, just might as well. He'll be out. He's gonna be out for the remainder of the first round. That's not a problem. Uh, we just need to beat Melbourne here. And he'll get to come he'll he'll, he'll be back. If anybody wants to know, this is just a personal opinion, but uh Mel the Melbourne Storm are my least favorite rugby league side. I just don't like the Melbourne Storm. And, uh, anyways. Good afternoon. It's going to be a great evening here as we continue playing Rugby League Live 4. The Oakland Nines. Match number two. Kyle Lachlan Coot is still. Matthew Scott's our captain. I thought, oh man, wow. Matthew Scott's leading us out today, so. That's interesting. I thought that Lachlan Coot was our team captain. Apparently not. 
Well, underway now. Eighteen minutes between us and making the second round, the finals. A quarterfinal spot awaits us if we win. Munster gets tackled and hit hard by Lachlan Coote. Lachlan Coote finished with 27 points last year, the Dallium standings. Uh, Jake Grendel got 51 points in last year's Dally M standings. That was bloody brilliant, if you ask me. He got 51 points. He scored like 65 tries, though. So, I mean, I can totally understand why. <laughs> Kyle Felt now. Kyle Felt's away. And he gets us back to the 50. No, he's going to get us past the 45. Looks like the 45 meter line to Jonathan Thurston. Jonathan Thurston's away. Oh, high tackle. High tackle there for the Melbourne Storm. And we're going to go for the penalty kick. I might as well go for the penalty goal and put ourselves up 2-0. So North Queensland two Melbourne nothing Somewhere, Jake Granville is watching this game and thinking, man, if I hadn't have done that high tackle. <laughs> That's a forward pass every day of the week. Thank you. Larry coming in, and he's our backup booker. <laughs> and Larry with, with the break tackle, and there is a try for... Lake Leary and North Queensland goes up. Nine and nothing against the Melbourne Storm. Billy Slater still playing as well. That's funny. Billy Slater, of course, retired now, I believe. No longer plays for the Melbourne Storm. Just like Jonathan Thurston doesn't play for North Queensland anymore. <laughs> I mean, if you don't love Jonathan Thurston, I, I just, I don't understand. Lots of history. Four tackles down. That was quick. That was a very quick set. A minute and a half to go with the first half. Not been an easy one for us. But we will have the lead going into halftime. And yeah, there we go. There's a the second try of the game. Justin O'Neill with a try there. And Kyle Felt kicks it over. We still have the Rugby World Club Challenge to go, to go later on, hopefully in this live stream. And we'll get through the Auckland Nines hopefully as well before I get too tired and decide to quit. But anyways, guys, this is fun. So much fun. Thurston with a nice run back, but just can't get past that other tackle, and uh, that was that was expected because I just ran right into that. Matthew Scott gets us to the 40. Justin O'Neill.
Jonathan Thurston. And it's over. So we're going to keep, we'll retain possession and we earn the point. No, we don't retain possession. We have to kick it off. <laughs> Oh, Kyle Felt. You're going to make me lose my hair, man. Blake Leary there. Now Jonathan Thurston. We're on Jonathan Thurston. Ethan Lowe. To Blake Leary. Blake Leary gets the tackle. Jonathan Thurston gets the assist. Four minutes to go in this game. It's not going to be the 28 nothing scoreline that we had against Cronulla, but it is going to be, hopefully, if nothing else, a shutout. But he's in the goal. He was in the goal, and that means we're going to have to get the ball back to Melbourne. That sucks very massively because we had this, we had it. And Ethan Lowe with a tackle. Ethan Lowe coming in very hard. He crushes Billy Slater. Billy Slater gets crunched. Th Jonathan Thurston with a tackle as well. But that hit by Ethan Lowe really... Matthew Scott also hitting Bromwich really hard as well. But Melbourne, a minute and a half. Kyle Felt. Kyle Felt is away. And it's about 30 meters between us. Melbourne was about 30 meters behind us. That, they were like, yeah, we're, we're, we're done. We're not playing us. We got one more game to go this afternoon. We got to conserve our energy. And uh, it's 28 to nothing the first game. It's 24 to nothing here. So about, uh, about 20 points on average in these games. And Munster now has got to give us the ball back with a minute to go. No, with 15 seconds. Why in the world... We just need to take the tackle and we've won. And I think I'll just stop. I think I'll just stop. I'll take the tackle in the game. And the Cowboys are through to the second round. They will play in the quarterfinals. The question is, which side of the bracket? As well as whether we'll finish one or two in the group. So, there we go. Eight become... I mean, 16 becomes eight. And then... Eight becomes four, and four becomes two in the Auckland Nines. So, just going to look at this. Jake Grinnell's got one more match to, to go here. Um... Oh, there, there, there it was. So, the Melbourne Storm could top the group. The Sharks could top the group. The winner of that, the winner of that game there will go on. The Bulldogs are out. They're guaranteed to be out because the winner of that game goes through. And so are we. We're through. The question is whether or not we'll get first or second. So it's up. It's up to debate. And, phew, long day.
Hold on, guys, just a second. All right, there we go. So it's raining now. Looks like uh, it's raining and looks like we play looks like they fully played just uh they played two games yesterday played one game today plus the finals looks like so either that or i don't know Thurston with the catch. Matthew Scott. And Thurston. Now to Kyle Felt, to the outside, and oh, what a beautiful sidestep there by Kyle Felt to give us the opener. The North Queensland Cowboys are on top. Well, this is an interesting one. So, three minutes into this opening half, and we've still got the World Club Challenge to come. So, that will be interesting. I'm hoping that we'll finish, that we'll get to that. That's been about an hour. And uh, I am getting to that point where it does look like I'll be getting off because I am tired. So, don't know yet. But the last, thank you guys for joining me. Regardless, hopefully we'll get to the Auckland Nines before I just say that I'm, do, I'm too tired. Oh, and it's a try! Canterbury with the try there. I wasn't even paying attention. I was busy talking to you guys and I uh, this is interesting now as it's seven to six Lachlan Coot though Lachlan Coot doing Lachlan Coot things Lachlan Coot is going to do it he did this last year at the Auckland Nines. He's going to do it again. He takes a kick and runs it all the way back. So uh, we, we answer with a try and a bonus point to boot. And there we go, Foreign kicking it into touch for us. Roby now to restart. And it's a forward pass. The Bulldogs pull a forward pass. Blake Leary, our backup hooker, is running. And Blake Leary is going to take it in. And the Bulldogs are now are now sucking. And Kyle Felt gets it, and that we're 20.6 up. So, uh, let's do this.
Lachlan Coote tackles safely a minute to go in the first half Thurston with the tackle Ethan Lowe tried to get a tackle there. He could, but he got. He comes back. He comes back out of freaking nowhere. And Lachlan Coote is back to get the ball. Will he do Lachlan Coote things? He does do Lachlan Coote things. He's away, and this is going to win the first half on a note of championship glory for Lachlan Coote. He won the Auckland Nines with us last year. He won the Grand Final with us last year. He won a Rugby League World Cup with the Kangaroos. And now he's got a couple of tries in this game. And he plants the Steeden down with authority. Lachlan Coote with a tackle. Everybody says that Lachlan Coote felt and Justin O'Neill need to go. I disagree. I think that they're great players. I just think that maybe maybe Green needs to go, maybe. For the Cowboys. I don't know. Mistakes cost us last night. And we can't we can't make those mistakes again. We just can't. I mean, if, if we do, then uh, it'll be a very long season. Blake Leary, Jonathan Thurston now playing out of uh, dummy half. Don't see that too often. Thurston's over the line for a try. Had a great World Cup. Had a great World Cup, y'all. I mean, honestly, go back and watch that at the beginning of this stream. Uh, Jonathan Thurston's World Cup was a was a freaking amazing. It's thirty-five to six, and the Bulldogs. Are doing bulldog things. They're sucking. Albeit, um, I do want to make a disclaimer. I, I may be a North Queensland fan, but uh, a good friend of mine has a, had a cousin that played for Canterbury, so uh, can't say too many. Bad things about the Bulldogs. Really good friend of mine. So, anyways. Kyle Felt. Three minutes to go. And we'll have gotten through the group stages, and I think that'll be it. I think that will definitely be it for now. We got through the group stage of the Auckland Nines. I'll come back later. I hopefully will see you guys later, and we'll play through the, the final, final three games. But I am really tired all of a sudden. So... We'll see what happens. Lachlan Coot. Blake Leary. So Jonathan Thurston to the outside. Thurston. He's Thurston for a bursting. 
And he doesn't burst, but that's going to be the end of the game. And that is going to be the end of that, of, of me playing. We'll, um, I'll look at, see who we're playing and wrap this up here. Let's look at this, shall we? So, we're going to advance. We're playing the Warriors. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. We're playing the Warriors um, in the finals. Let's look at this here, shall we? Oh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, that's really cool. Yay! So, yay! Uh... Anyways... Ooh, boy. Alright, so let's look at this, shall we? The Oakland Nines. So we're playing the Warriors and the... Uh, and either Newcastle or Parramatta. Uh, Cronulla does make it. Cronulla made it out of the group, so they'll play the Panthers. The Souths play Canterbury, so that is your Auckland Nines Finals series. And uh, anyways, any got anyways, guys. Thank you all for joining me. I want to thank you and um, have a wonderful evening. And uh, see you soon. All right. Goodbye.